Any questions? Oh, several. Yes, um, thank you. This is great. I was wondering in this particular figure that you show, you're um, comparing the distances that you calculate versus those in the literature. And I see you have, some of these use the HSC-Y data. Have you, um, I mean, if you use the deep, ultra deep, does that improve? more of a comment. If I had a not yet published dwarf galaxy or two and I gave them to you, do you would you be willing to accept the challenge of measuring its distance? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can talk later. Okay. <laughs> okay. One more question over there. Well, if you don't mind, we'll start setting up the next speaker. Uh, hi, Tim. Very interesting talk. Do you have enough data yet to, to say whether your um, method produces better or worse results depending on the um whether it's the tip of the red giant branch or the surface brightness fluctuation in the in the literature estimates could that give you some hint whether there's a there's a problem with either of those methods uh great question we definitely haven't gone that far yet uh the tip of the red giant branch is really solid so we're never going to do better than that uh and yeah we're still we still sort of have these biases in it so we're not directly comparing the surface brightness fluctuation measurements, like we don't want to make sort of a value judgment, but yeah, so yeah, not yet, but maybe one day. Okay, let's thank Tim again.